Hey, what's up? This is my uh, last video before I go to bed at 10:19. Um, I'm just. This is my uh, review, kind of, of the Dark Knight, cause. I don't know, I just thought I'd do it because I'm really bored right now. And the Dark Knight, pretty good topic, if you think about it. It's really awesome. First one kind of sucked, though. Who the hell's Ra's al Ghul? Oh, never mind. Um, the basic plot of the Dark Knight is um, Christian Bale, or Batman, he's like a superhero, but in the first movie, he's becoming Batman, so I don't know. Basically, devoting a whole half of a movie to the beginning of Batman is kind of messed up. I mean, almost everyone I know knows Batman. They don't need to see a whole freaking intro of how he became Batman. So, I don't know. Okay, um... Basically, as you can probably tell if you've already seen the movie, um, the main villain is the Joker, which is pretty good. It's pretty good, I like him. He's very edgy, kind of creepy and funny at the same time. It's, it's kind of weird. But, um, I don't know. I just like him. I'm so sad, though, that Heath Ledger had to die because he could have been a really good Joker, I guess, in the next movie. If he's in that movie. But he's not. He's dead. I'm mad now. No. Okay. Um, basically, this is just the same Batman, but with the Joker. That's how it kind of felt to me. I mean, of course, it's more actiony. A lot more, a wider variety of people will be able to understand what it means. Like, you don't have to have seen all the previous Batman movies to know what it is. Like, I can just let my nephew or something who's never ever seen a Batman movie watch the movie, and he'll know exactly who all the characters are. So that's like, that's one of the fav my favorite parts of the Batman movie. Because all the characters are easily ident identifiable, and I don't know. Just overall, it's a good movie. Um, I didn't see it in IMAX, but I heard if you see it in IMAX, it's really good. But I don't know. I never see anything in IMAX except for V, except V for Vendetta, which hmm, it was kind of better in IMAX, better than on DVD. So The Dark Knight, it's pretty good. I'd probably give it two thumbs up. Actually, I do give it two thumbs up, so... Good job, Heath Ledger and Christian Bale, kinda. Um, give it two thumbs up. I give it a four, because... I don't know, I mean, four, four and a half, maybe. Yeah. Because four seems kind of lame. Um, the only reason it's not a five is because it has a really, really lame ending. I mean... He be he's finished being the like the whole movie he's not the Dark Knight until at the end of the movie then Gordon starts explaining like oh he's an Avenger he's the Dark Knight ooh and then the Joker just goes to jail or for some reason I mean not being mean but I'd probably kill the Joker cause I don't know <laughs> if he ever went into my jail and I owned it I'd probably kill him cause he has no aliases not being cold hearted or anything, but think about it. That's what they always do in Batman ep movies and episodes. They always let the bad guy in jail. He escapes. He does something stupid. Batman saves him. They go back to jail. I mean, this whole cycle could be f finished if all that if all they did was just kill them. So I don't know. Either way, this is a really good movie, and I suggest you rent it, watch it, like because you can't see it. In the theaters anymore. Watch it on DVD, borrow it, play the game, well, there's no game for it, but anything to get your hands on this movie, because I think it really, really stood out to me as one of the best movies of 2008, and I don't know, I think if you watch this movie, it kind of changes your whole perspective on The Dark Knight and Batman, and hopefully in the next Batman movie, we're going to be able to see Harvey Dent because he's dead, but we don't know yet. Think about it. How many times have you seen the Joker get almost killed, but then he just comes back? Yeah. So that's basically my end of the review. Okay.